A warm and beautiful morning to you. It's Quest today, and uh, well, definitely we're still in the festivity period. My name is Mike Egobadia. It would be right for me to say it's another lovely time for us to do this always like we do on Quest Television and Quest Night 3.1 FM. And that's uh, bringing to you up-to-date knowledge of what seems to be happening in the country. But as much as we're in the season of our celebration, uh, more like a retrospect of beautiful editions we've done uh, just this year alone. And that will be coming shortly. Uh, but for now, we need to always start with what we love doing, and that's the papers. Uh, that you do know the news came uh, just before now, and uh, the papers will be what we have in next. Uh, but to help me, or rather to join us to do this this morning, we have no other person but Barrister Godwin Ojeba. Uh, Barrister Godwin Ojeba, good morning, and uh, well, on the mining is a bit belated, but uh, Merry Christmas, and I hope you had many boxes to open yesterday as it was Boxing Day. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Actually, there were no boxes, you know, this time <laughs> around, the economy didn't help matter. Mm, cash uh, the scarcity of cash or to also made it difficult for people to carry buses. Oh. Hopefully, by the new year, we'll have. Well, anyway, that's just hope, and hope is what we always would have as uh, people. But anyway, like I said, we're having the papers now, and for review today, I uh, will have eight papers. Well, it's going to be a lengthy one, knowing that, uh, yeah, it's going to extend uh, for one hour. We'll be ending this around 8.30. And like I said, eight, eight, eight papers is what we have for review. We'll have the Vanguard these day. We'll have the Guardian, Daily Trust, the Punch, uh, also uh, the Nigerian Tribune is here, uh, just as much as we'll take on the Nation uh, Daily Sun also to follow. And remember, these day will also wrap things up today on the show. But anyway, let's quickly start. And I would love to start first with the punch. And let's see what the punch has as a major one on its front page. On the punch this morning, well, no surprise. Outrage as Plateau Massacre claims 150 uh, persons, over 10,000 displaced. Uh, the writer to that said, I lost my father, 10 other family members to attack, just photographer laments. And the uh, president orders killers arrest. A scan. Northern governor's elder Saraki condemn attacks. And there uh, were well, more condemnation. But you can get more of that story on page two and three of the Punch newspaper. Uh, let's just quickly go uh, to the top. Uh, the president meets governor, seeks stronger federal government states collaboration. As a Nigerian diaspora remittance will exceed $20 billion in 2023. And the World Bank is screaming that out loud on page 23. Uh, but what's on page 28, the National Assembly reconvenes a Friday to pass budget uh, December 30th. Uh, just try to see if they can really return it back to the January-December uh, circle. And uh, like I said, page 28 has that story. Uh, but let's quickly see if we take other major ones. 300 Nigerians killed in foreign lands as blood cries endless for justice. And uh, well, just justify more of that on page 6 and 8, 9 rather, of uh, the Punch newspaper. 25 killed in rivers, illegal refinery exploration is a sad one on page 4 and 5. Uh, federal government plans fresh regulations for OP, money points, and others. And you can get that story on page 23. Uh, but what's the picture of the day? Is the carnage uh, that was uh, noticed in Bariki Ladi, a uh, local government area in Bokos. And uh, that was on Christmas Day. 150 people killed, senseless killing, unprovoked killing and huge condemnation coming also from us right here on Quest. But anyway, that's the much we can take from the punch. Uh, let's quickly run to the next paper, and uh, the Nigerian Tribune will be that next paper for us to quickly look at. And on the Nigerian Tribune this morning, the leading story, just like many others, outrage, as death toll in Plateau reaches 160, stated by these, as 221 houses bumped. Uh, police confirmed 96 killed, Tunubo orders immediate arrest of corporates, emphasize sanctity of human life. This is direct assault on our shared peace and unity, says Khan. And Northern elders condemn attack, question federal government strategy. Well, anyway, I'll just uh, tell you to continue that story on page two. Uh, let's continue with others. 15 killed, 70 injured in Oshun, Lagos, Ibadan, Kaduna, Abuja Highway accident. is a sad one during uh, the festive period, and page 10 has that story. Uh, but what's on page uh, 9 is 50,000 soldiers involved in counter-terrorism separatist operation nationwide. And another person is saying it, Bolagwaja himself. Uh, Tunubu hosts governors in Lagos, Hills Fubara, on com commitment to peace in rivers. is a major one on page 7. 
And CBN investigators again summons Lemo to others over Union Bank acquisition. And uh, you know the story. Uh, they feel the former central bank governor, Godwin Mefele, is deeply enmeshed uh, in uh, the acquisition of uh, Union Bank and another bank. Uh, but anyway, the investigation continues. Uh, Koka to Tunubu, Nigerian fast losing hope in your renewed hope agenda. And uh, well, you can get uh, more of his view on page five. And 2023 polls uh, the taming of PDP shrouds. And uh, you can get that story on page 17. The Senate resumed plenary on Saturday to pass 2024 budget. It's a major one on page 5. And Nigerian Air Force hit six illegal oil refineries in rivers. And uh, you can really get read out that story on page 28. Nigerian stake uh, cryptocurrency boom amidst monetary management challenge. It's a major one on page 7. But what's the picture of the day is long queues of vehicles during Boxing Day celebration at the Administration Park in Abuja on that Tuesday. Well, wow, the vehicles are really that much. But should Nigerians not celebrate? Well, they should. But anyway, that's the much you can take from the Nigerian Tribune. Uh, let's quickly go to the Guardian as they guide us again to see what seems to be on the front pages of the Daily. And uh, the major one on the Guardian, slow e-payment channels worsen cash and U-type problems or troubles. And, um, well, just behind the camera, we're talking about that. And, uh, well, it's no surprise. We, we noticed that as um, uh, the Christmas and Boxing Day was really hit with uh, cash crunch. And, uh, but anyway, let's quickly leave that, uh, but go to another major one. Uh, Fast-tracking justice dispensation through alternative dispute resolution is more of an ed editorial um, on page 12 of The Guardian. Middlebed threatens self-help as death toll and plateau killings hit 155. And, uh, well, that's a sad story you can get on page 6. APC alleged plot to PIFA. It's a billion naira from Kanu coffers, and you can understand why everybody's just gone in to see what the Supreme Court will say. Uh, but already the fireworks have started. Page 28 is where you can read that story. Boxing Day, how harsh economies point form for many Nigerians, and uh, no surprise that's on the Metro page 8 of uh, The Guardian. We have, we've, we have a responsibility to ensure Nigerian stability, Tunubo tells governors. And his statement is on page 3 of The Guardian. Senator laments, uh, Senator laments rise in Taraba killing, calls for emergency. And uh, page 28 also has that story. Uh, Sabotoirs hoarding Naira and dollars now on federal government watch list. It's a major one on page 7. But I'll be asking um, Barisa Ojeba, how come they're always on the watch list and we do not know who they are? But anyway, all I do know is let's go to page 27. Over 50,000 soldiers in counter-terrorism separatist operation nationwide, says COS, COAS. And uh, you can understand he's saying that Lagbaja himself is. Uh, but the picture of the day is more of um, the slow e-payment channels uh, that seems to be hampering business or hampered business uh, during the U-tide. And uh, well, most certainly we just hope things get better uh, during uh, the New Year celebration. But anyway, that's the much you can take from The Guardian. Let's quickly run to The Nation and see if The Nation has something different from others. Well, no surprise, it still does. Tunubu orders security agents to fish out killers of 96 in play two as attackers raised 220, 221 houses in 15 communities. Search for bodies continues as outrage over mayhem. And uh, while well, it did a quite disturbing story, but continue that story on page four of um, the, uh, the nation. President Hill's Fubara commitment to peace. All eyes on the governor. Uh, speak, speak out to implement resolution. Uh, it's a major one on page 7. An illegal bond career explosion kills tweets in Christmas Eve in Rivers. It's another sad one on page 6. President, Governor, Senators Hill Akume at 70. And uh, you can get that story on page 2. APC PDP fixed January 6 and 8 for by-election primaries and nomination forms already on sale. And you can get that story on page 3. Minister urges cash transfer beneficiaries to invest. On what? I don't know, but page three would definitely give you more of that story. Sabotoirs frustrating government's efforts to reboot economy. And uh, well, you can just reboot yourself on that on page three. But let's quickly see others. We have exceeded 100 uh, trillion naira asset revenue target, says Murphy. And uh, what that means, just get a copy of the nation and page four has that story. Three inmates escaped from correctional center in Ogun State. Whoa, it's a sad, disturbing one on page six. But the picture of the day is that of governors as uh, they paid no order, but President Bala Ahmed Tinubu 
uh, Christmas uh, Day visit on the need uh, to celebrate together. Well, you can see that the Delta State government, governor there and there are a whole lot of others uh, during that celebration time. But anyway, that's much we can take uh, from the nation. Let's quickly run to the Daily Sun and uh, see how bright it will be as it concerns uh, more uh, that's happening in the country. Power struggle in PDP intensifies. Is a screamer on the Daily Sun as ethical men, new generation members fight for control, and Supreme Court cases tall search for our use replacements, and um, opposition party may hold mini convention in February. It's a major story on page six of the Daily Sun. President of Fubara, thank you for peaceful resolution of political crisis in rivers. It's a screamer on page eight, says peace and stability, joint responsibility of federal government and state. And six guys, 65 injured in Boxing Day auto accident in Lagos and Kaduna. Why would you drive yourself to death all in the year of celebration? Well, page five has more of that story. Police confirmed rise in killing uh, death of uh, inspector in a do court clash. It's a sad one on page six. And just yesterday we heard a journalist was also killed, Hilary Odia. He works with independent television and radio. Well, was a friend. Uh, my heart really goes out to independent TV and radio for the death, a uh, court killing of one of their staff just yesterday. Sad one it is. Date arrested over murder of Enugu Monarch on Christmas Eve is a major one on page five. And Tunubu, Northern Governor Senators, and uh, Khan Saraki will be furious over Christmas Eve attack in Politu as their toll rises. And uh, to rise on that, uh, we have said over uh, how attackers killed 157, ransacked 12 villages, raised 222 houses, 27 motorcycles, 8 vehicles. Lobo Khan, chairman, is screaming out that uh, loud as Northern Governor's forum calls for increased security measures. And uh, you can measure the security already on page 4 of uh, the Daily Sun. Ohanese tax out his governors on security is a major one on page 27. And uh, the picture of the day, like I said, is just that courtesy visit of the governors to no other but President Bola Ahmed to the Bull, uh, yesterday, all in the celebration mood. But anyway, our mood is to take no order, but the Daily Trust is where we're going next. And on the Daily Trust this morning, outrage over Plateau Massacre as death toll hits 155. Is a screamer out there, and uh, just uh, two riders to that. Not an elders question military capab capability, or just change of tactics, and terrorists occupying 64 communities in play two. Mufuang is saying so, and if that's true, they need to do something. But the sad one following that farming communities meet the other trade blames over killings, and uh, should blame be the issue of the day now. It's a sad reality we've been faced with. But anyway, let's leave that story. Tudumbiri finds unity in Christmas celebration and meets morning. And uh, 2023, how fast data depletion, bad network, slow 5G dominated Nigerian telecom sector. And police nab 18-year-old female student who worked as bandit informant is a major one also on page 7 of the Daily Trust. Pipeline expression kills 20 persons in rivers as um, smugglers forfeit 3 billion Naira vehicles in 9 months despite ban. Hackers stole $2 billion in cryptocurrency in 2023, says the report, and traders lose millions as fire raises canoe market. is a very disturbing one also on page four, sorry, 15 of the Daily Trust. But the picture of the day is still that of what played out in play two, and you can see the destruction uh, that is still quite visible. But anyway, let's uh, just visit uh, this day newspaper. Incensed by Plateau Xmas Eve carnage, Tunubu orders security to go after killers. As um, well, the riders to that tells governors, nations, peace, stability is collective responsibility. Mofuang, it's disheartening. Losing life to senseless, unprovoked attack. Well, anyway, I'll just tell you to continue that story. Uh, that's a very disturbing story on page uh, four of uh, this day newspaper. Okpayemi Bamidele now will pass 2024 appropriation bill on Saturday. Says federal government go after economic saboteurs next year. We just hope that happens. And uh, let's see if we take other major one. Murphy set to track Nigerians real estate, solid minerals, oil and gas assets globally. And uh, as uh, upbeat assets under management will surpass a hundred trillion target. 
Well, that's what it says. And uh, let's see if we take some other major ones and uh, really wrap things up on... Uh, okay, well, the picture of the day is that of uh, the governors, as if it is no other person but President Bola Ahmed Tinubu just yesterday at the presidential villa in Abuja. But let's leave that and go to the last paper for review, which will be the Vanguard newspaper and our proud sponsors on the show. And uh, the paper review it is. And on the Vanguard, outrage overplay to massacre as uh, President orders security agents to fish out perpetrators. It's a major one on pitch uh, f uh, five. Uh, so death toll hits 115, uh, being counted. Well, the, the, the death toll will definitely rise because uh, they're still following and tracking more dead bodies. But let's leave that sad story. You tied NMPCL guarantees for availability nationwide. Well, by so well, we didn't get much difficulties in uh, assessing or buying a petroleum product this time. Well, well anyway, it uh, just could be a plus to NMPCL. Yes. Yeah, River Crisis, Tunubu Lords Fubara over approach to Rift with We Came is a major one on page nine. And Panel summons a Lemo orders over acquisition of Union Bank. And the net forex inflow rises to four percent to twenty four point one billion dollars in nine months. It's a very cherry one on page two at thirty three. Uh, but let's quickly go to others. Tati Dine Rivers Explosion is a major one on page six. Uh, police solicit information over murder of journalists in Edo. Remember I said that uh, earlier. Uh, it's a sad one on page 8. By elections, APC, PDP raises timetables. And uh, you can get that story on page 9. A federal government to go after economic saboteurs next year, says Senate leader. It's a major one on page 8. And 2023 AFCON, Super Eagles to begin preparations with just uh, two friendlies. I hope that match will be friendly enough to put us in the right position to see how we can truly um, take back the glory after almost um, more than 10 years. The last time we got it was in 2013, and that uh, we just need to get another of the cup. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's see. Uh, that's the much. The picture of the day is still that of the visit of our president uh, to President uh, Bola Ahmed to Mumbai governors. But let's go on a lighter note, and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Colum. I, I don't like it when you accuse me of infidelity. I'm a busy man. I don't mix business with pleasure. Now the home pressure is making matters worse. And Mrs. as usual will always have a response. So which is bothering you, the pressure or the pleasure? Well, anyway, I don't know, though. But what I do know is let's quickly go on a break. And when we come back, we'll take the calls as much as we get response from our guests right here, all centered on the dailies this morning. Let's go on a break. <music> Well, we need to welcome you back, and I uh, will still the paper review today on our quest today. Well, definitely uh, still in the period of festivity and celebration, hence we're having it one hour. But well, after the whole festivity and celebration, it will return to its usual timetable, and then we'll be just having it just like 30 minutes or half an hour, and I uh, will be doing all of that. But like I said, uh, we reviewed eight major papers uh, this morning, and uh, we still have no other person but Barrister Godwin Ejeba helping out. Uh, but what we'll do now is open up the lines and get your reactions, your comments and views all centered on some of the major headlines on the dailies this morning. The numbers will be with you shortly on your screen in case you're watching us on TV. And interestingly, it's always uh, there. And we'll take those calls. It's 08022 As much as you can reach us right here on 81 With the two numbers, yes, it's Quest today, the people review. But anyway, before we get those calls coming in, let's quickly come to you. Uh, but I said, got rid of Jigba. Outrage, Platoon Africa seems to be the leading story that has characterized, uh, sadly, uh, the Christmas itself. Started just a day before yesterday, extended all through yesterday. And that the sorry tale we have is that the perpetrators spent hours doing so much damage in about 15 communities across the cross, Barankila, the local government area in Plateau State, Bokos. And we've went ahead, spilled over to some part of Panishin. So let's, let's really understand this. 
the federal government says they're doing so much to deal with this problem, but well, this came to everybody as a surprise, and sadly, lots of lives were also noticed. Children were killed in this attack. Well, my take on it is that federal government may push out certain ideas as to what they are doing, but the ordinary person who is watching, yes. who has been seeing, who has also been reading yes. on the pages of the newspaper, what has been happening over the years, you recall that this has been a recurring decimal, yes. this killing in these places, that they take farmers' head as clashes. Yes. But from the look at, or from what it is, it cannot be seen as clashes because the killing is on only one side. On only one side, and on unprovoked. Mm. Besides that, federal government is seen either not doing anything or have not done anything at mm. all. Mm. Because in all of these years, you cannot say for sure that this person has been arrested and prostituted the state for more than two, three hours, nothing done within the same country that we are in. The same people, w these people are known. It's not as if they are not known because there are places now are trading blames. Yes. One group is saying, no, you did it. The other group is saying, no. why don't you arrest the leaders of this group? Bring out the perpetrators of this you know, crime. Prosecute them so that it serves as a deterrent to others. Unless until we do that, this thing will continue. And let me tell you what can actually happen. In the event that federal government releases on what it's supposed to do, yes. chances are that people will take home arm themselves. Yeah, and because it's almost stated there, Plateau State in uh, the front page of The Guardian, Middle Bell threatens self-help as death toll <coughs> in Plateau killings rise 155. And so when we resort to self-help, where, where do we go from there? Sheer anarchy. I hope that it don't get to that level. Federal government, under Tinubu, I have so much belief and trust in Tinubu. First, because as an accountant, as a chartered accountant, I thought that we have his eyes together. And when he made the recruitment of his key officers yeah. within service the chiefs. service chiefs, yeah. my mind was clear and certain that all of these things will not repeat themselves. In fact, it has gone a bit higher now in degree and intensity. Let's hope that something will be done before people take up arms and begin to protect themselves. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later, but let's quickly look at another major one. And on the front page of The Guardian, slow e-payment channels worsen cash you tight troubles. You see, I'm not an accountant. I'm also not in the computer world. Yeah, but, but to the ordinary man, how, how was the scarcity of cash? Especially no, I, I think it's self-inflated. Hmm. First of all, the cash that was in circulation was storage that was enough to be able to get run. Okay. But the e-payment platform that we have decided to go into, we have not mastered our art together. Yes. Having not mastered our art is one issue. The other issue is that a deliberate scarcity created by the bankers to get money from the POS operators. Yes. That, I can assure you, happened. And the POS operator was smiling. The ordinary folks in the society were crying. So that's why you say it was self-inflated? Self-inflated. Because the cash was also just there. And until government begin to do what it ought to do. Now government has all the machinery to be able to monitor and make society better. What yes. is the purpose of government? Betterment, good gov uh, welfare, happiness of the people. That's what governance is all about. Mm. That was why you would recall that uh, one of these governors the other day created a ministry of happiness. Yes. I uh, sure that the money is available. Uh, no, that, but, uh, the roads are available. The, ro the roads are safe. Yeah. The roads are safe for people to apply. Mm. Life and security is protected. That is the sense of government. Now you are not able to protect the people. You are not able to run the economy. You are not able to make them happy. Even to be able to spend their own money is becoming difficult. So what manner of country are we really in? Well, anyway, no surprise. Kuka is saying that Nigerians are truly quickly losing hope on the renewed hope agenda. But anyway, uh, l let's quickly leave that and go to another major one that seems to be making the round. It only came out last week and is beginning to gather momentum. And we're talking about panel summons lemo orders over acquisition of Union Bank. Well, we only got the story, like I said last week, uh, <coughs> that um, the former CBN governor. Uh, is deeply rooted in the acquisition of this bank and Keystone Bank. But let, let's look at it. Do you feel more revelation about the, these findings will be made public and we might buy in for a root shock? Yes. You, uh, uh, Nigeria, is there any, does anything shock Nigeria anymore? Oh, come on. Now, in Nigeria, somebody will have 20 billion, 30 billion, if it's still mo much more than that. And uh, nobody, no, nobody seems to be doing anything. Because the truth of the matter is that more revelations will come. It is not even the revelation that matters now. What will matter to me as an individual and as a Nigerian is the fact that these revelations are put into correcting the system. Okay. Now, are you sure that at the end of the day, somebody's head will roll? Will somebody going to be punished for this kind of thing or they will tell them to go and see no more? 
Because that is the kind of thing that we do. Evil persists, not because of those who do evil, but because of those of us who watch evil be done and do nothing about it. Now, government is not doing anything about it. Now, you are afraid that this person did that. What do you call it in Did that. In fact, at the time, his name became Olefiele. <laughs> nothing has ever happened since that time. And but but, 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 but many, many will argue that this seems to be like uh, the obligation. present ad administration gunning for him. Uh, but also, funny enough, <laughs> CCTV revelation in, um, indicted him, and uh, the former uh, SSG to the, uh, to the government, uh, talking about Boss Mustafa, yeah. are removing about six point something billion, a million dollars uh, in, in Ghana must go. And uh, the CCTV um, footage, funny enough, is going viral. Uh, do you see this? As uh, many will speculate, it's more of a witch hunt uh, because he's not only the one um, immersed in such uh, controversy. We still have other names we mentioned, but yet no arrests have been made apart from him. God I, I don't see it as a witch hunt. Okay. What I also see is that government is making an investigation. The ordinary procedure would have been complete your investigation before you do arrest. Okay. okay. That should have been written. And so I expect that there had been an investigation. As soon as the investigation is completed, they should go for an arrest. Okay. Now, I, I tell you the other day that I wanted to go to Rwanda for holidays. Yeah. If I tell you the number of Nigerians that go to Rwanda for holidays, it will shock you. Hmm. Rwanda is not bigger than uh, maybe Delta and uh, by such they put together. Oh, yeah. But because of good governance initiated by Pokigami, the place is, de is developing and developing very fast. Now, we can also do all of these things. The only difference is that we, do the, we don't seem to have the right frame of mind to be able to take it. This is what we're going to do and begin to co pursue it. Everything is politicized. Hmm. If a Mifili has infracted, there is an infraction. Of course, let him answer for his infraction. If, for instance, to Jigba did things that are wrong, let him answer for it. Because every facet of our society... So, so we should stop politicizing it? Politicizing anything. What, what is wrong is wrong. So much, what has happened is that this country is immersed deeply in corruption. So anybody who finds himself in power ensure that he, he appropriates things to himself to the detriment of all the other persons. That is the thing that we have in our society to do. Come to think about it, in which area does corruption not thrive? Is it in the mindset or in education? Is it in the ministry, in the infrastructural development, in the real estate? Where? Where? And funny enough, the judiciary is also being questioned. Well, I don't want to go there. Anyway, we'll not go there, but rather go to the lines and get those calls coming in. Uh, that's what we'll love to be. And like I said, the numbers are already there on your screen in case you're watching us on the TV. 08022931931 is that number. As much as you can reach us right here on 081-888-8931. But please make it brief. State your name. Tell us where you're calling from. Go straight to it. Just take two or more, and uh, definitely let's see if we have others to also join in. But I also plead with you, if you're calling in, remember to turn down the volume of your radio or TV set, or like how we always insist and pray you do, walk away from where there is so it doesn't have any interference. And when you're done, come, enjoy more of it. Let's quickly go and get those calls coming. Hello, good morning to you. Hello. Okay, I will also implore you to please speak out a bit louder uh, so we can truly hear you. Uh, hello. 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 Yes, your yeah, name and where you calling us from? I am calling from the oh, Okay, I, I, I pleaded initially that you need to turn down the volume of your radio set. I'll, I'll just need to really discontinue that very call. It's something that you must always remember to do uh, so it doesn't have a hold back and uh, not get us, uh, let us get you cl really clear and loud. So please, always emphasize. I will always emphasize that, please. Just oblige us and do that. Uh, but let's see if we take more calls, get those reactions, steal the paper review right here on Quest. Hello, good morning to you. Hello? Hello? Happy evening, yeah, Michael Ray. Say, yeah, good morning to you. It's Captain Alex. I'm calling from PTI Road this time around. <laughs> Captain Alex, it looks as if you went there <laughs> to relax and enjoy the festivity. Yeah. Welcome to it. Please By grace. Yes. My career, yes. The kill, the killing today in this country is becoming too alarming. Too alarming. Right. Are there no police stations in Plato State? Is there no barracks in Plato State? Yet neighboring states around uh, Plato, are there no air forces and uh, Nava and otherwise uh, forces? What is our forces up to? In fact, I'm becoming worried. Every part of this country 
government governance system is becoming dead. I don't know. I don't know what is happening. Is it only a mystery that looted Buhari's government? Is it only a mystery? Yes, Buhari. Well, Al Mustafa was in, was a prison, and when he was caught, he said he was obeying the last order under a Bashar regime. Yes, Buhari. Well, thank you. Questions you've asked, I do not have answers to them, but it's a question uh, that seems to be in the public space, and many questions, or rather questions many seem to be asking. But anyway, all I know I'll do is take more calls, get those reactions, all centered on the dailies this morning. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, sir. Yes, your name and where are you calling uh, us from? Please go ahead. Uh, Peter from Kokori. Okay, all the way from Kokori. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, I want to comment on the, the killing of uh, uh, the massacre in uh, George, Street. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. We, we are. Please go ahead. Uh, I want to comment on it, that uh, if it is in a uh, major data here, the government will have sent to the major data. I remember the one of them. About a general troop to OD. So it is not fair. Canada makes his next troop to uh, uh, the state to know where we are. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. No surprise, uh, more reaction seems to be trailing that very massacre on our Christmas Day. Uh, sad reality. Uh, just. Yeah, and, 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 and funny enough, why that day? Good, Come good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, Mr. Mike, happy Christmas. Once oh, again. same to you, Mr. Friday. Mr. Friday, calling from Obiaruko today. Oh, Obiaruko, how yeah. is Obiaruko today? Very cool, very cool. Oh, no thank you, so no, Now we get Obiaruko. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the same community. Okay, well, thank that's you. nice to hear. Please go ahead. Yes. Saboteurs, for tracing government efforts. Mm. Who are those saboteurs, sir? Yes, question. Uh, Talking about the legal refinery in River State or the bond case, I don't know. Yes. What, when when should we, when will Nigeria have legal one in Nigeria? Or <coughs> River State or in Jetta State? Question number two. But before we will be playing on Illegal today, what is legal today is the 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 the, 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 the burial ceremony of my late father, Pa ESL, who died 63 years ago. Right? He's, he's kicking off right, 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 right now in my company, no Jarko. God bless you. God bless Nigeria. Well, anyway, uh, our, 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 our love and show of respect is with you as you do that today. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best as uh, you put your father or you lay your father to rest. Yeah, and uh, Yes, yes. Oh, remembrance. Yeah, remembrance. Please. Well, definitely our hearts are there with you. Hello. And a nice one to be. Uh, hello, good morning to you. This is Sir Enoch calling from uh, Oh, Sir Enoch, nice to have you. Please go ahead. Hey, my career. All the service chiefs should resign immediately. Hmm. They should resign immediately. Massacre in Black Houston. Where are the security? The, the, the perpetrator of the hours. Where are they? They should resign. They should resign. Hmm. Well, a strong statement mm. and outrage <laughs> continues to trill uh, that very massacre in Plateau State that happened on Christmas Day. As uh, the latest report puts it at 155 so far, uh, 221 houses burnt and about 87 motorcycles also destroyed. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, Mike Ray. My name is Matthew from Owase. Matthew from Owase, happy festivity. Please yes. go ahead. Thank you, the same to you. You see, 300 Nigerians killed in foreign lands. Yes. Ah, 300 Nigerians killed in foreign lands. Okay, let us just uh, downplay that one. What of in Nigeria? What of in Plato State? What of in Nazarawa? What of in Kaduna? When, when these foreigners see Nigerians being killed or uh, see Nigerians killing themselves, they are encouraged to also kill Nigerians abroad. So we are not happy about it. Let the federal government do something urgent. The people are there not known. Are the people killing people in Plateau State and Benue State are not even known? The ex men are they not known? Let the federal government do something. That is my take. This one, I'm angry. I'm angry. Well, Thank I, you. I, 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 will, I will really understand that, uh, Matthew, all the way from Owasi, but please. And, uh, I, I do understand. Continuing that anger, especially with the loss of lives of many on a day of festivity, unprovoked, unprovoked is, is quite unheard of yeah. and appalling. Hello, good morning. Good morning, morning. sir. Yeah, good morning. 
this uh, what I need for Mosoga. Actually, yes, sir. Well, you. same to you, and I hope Mosoga is in the spirit of celebration already. Where well, you know, it's like the average Nigerian uh, town or village. Wow. <laughs> okay. Atridge has plateau attack claims what well, 16,000 lives, 10,000 displaced, <laughs> 2 to 1 houses, a bunch, middle bed, 13, 30 head. Over 50,000 soldiers involved in counter terrorism. Yami. Yes. You should have uh, this guy so had intelligence gathering. If you look at all these, uh, if you to Christmas period, even New Year, the big territory of attack. Personally, I was a president to a plane that I ran a building state. Uh, we start at Kaduna, and of course, they just say too. At least it's supposed to know that uh, this is their flash front. But they don't do that too. They just, they just, I don't know what they really do. So it's the villages are falling, and again, this FPC government is a great disappointment to Nigeria. They, they, they really deceive us. Everything I just like, got to take us back to where the letter let us to be better for us. Look at everything. I'm not really works. Uh, look at this. People are dying every day. I feel that with the, with the with the removal of, the, I mean, this type of government now, after the technology will stop, but it's it, it, it continuing. It, it's a shame on us. It, again, uh, who cares for the but you start losing hope on your new hope agenda. And it's a fact. Like I said earlier uh, on, the government just is about everything. They, they feel that they know, they know about us, but they don't know what's happening. We don't feel that God should really give them the wisdom to take us to the next level. That's good, sir. Well, thank you so much, Henry. I'll put a big amen to that uh, because that's our prayer and we need peace, stability and progress. Uh, so we can just measure up to some other African countries like Rwanda and funny enough, Angola is taking a different turn. Come on. We South need Africa to, South African, behind. well, anyway. Left to try behind. Well, anyway, we'll leave that and just return to the lines. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. Michael. Yeah, good morning. Yes, Mr. Prince, from Utah. Okay, please go ahead. It saddens my heart when I hear about the massacre in Kilesi State. I'm almost down in tears because this is festive period. How long does it take our security agencies to have a real-time intelligence in the sense that these people didn't come in one minute and start the massacre in that same minute. Now, there was a time they were calling for community policing. We cannot see why community policing is needed. So, at a time like this, community policing is the only way forward. Well, I, I would understand that. Everybody's just trying uh, to find uh, the easiest and the best way uh, to deal with this. Yeah, that, well, the intelligent gathering, uh, Barrister Godwin and Jigba, do you feel we lack that? And as a direct result, that's what we're getting from here. 50,000 yeah, 50, military personnel caught across the country, but yet we're still experiencing such huge number of Nigerians being killed. There is a great disconnect between the civilian populace and the security people. Okay. There's a trust deficit. Hmm. What has resulted in this? Now, the people in uniform, see the ordinary person like you and I, are suspect all the time. Hmm. And so they treat us with all amount of disdain, amount of disrespect. And so because of that, we're not able to volunteer information to them. Well, sometimes even if you volunteer information, the information filters back, and before you know, there is a reprisal attack on you. So this kind of thing is what goes on. Now, if we must be able to uh, resolve all of these issues, mm -hmm. the majority reorientation, the security people, either pa uh, military or paramilitary, mm -hmm. whatever they are, in fact, anybody in uniform, most of the time that they owe a duty to us, the taxpayers, to respect us, to be able to live in harmony with us, so that we can feel through to generate and give them information. That is international uh, intelligence that they will need. Until and unless they begin to do that, they will not be getting this information. And if they don't get it, they will not be able to do some of the things. Unless they will also begin to plant their own people among, among, among the populace. No, the, 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 their number is negligible. Well, anyway, it's, 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 it's really a problem that many felt Digital. would never raise ugly head again. But funny yeah, enough, it, it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's happening. Uh, but what will happen now is for us to take one last call and we'll really wrap things up today on uh, the paper so, review. Well, 
استندرد ادیشن هلو گود مورنینگ تو یو هلو Okay, well, uh, I doubt if he knew he was on the, on the line, though. Mm. Um, yeah, let's see if, like I said, take one last call. Hello, good morning. To you. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Good, good morning, my Yeah, good morning. Yes, I want to. I want to comment on your headlines today. Okay, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Your name and where you're calling yes. from, please go ahead. My name is Friday. I'm calling from Ugeli. Oh, nice to know. Go ahead, then, Friday. I just called somebody from Play Two State before calling you now. Okay. And he painted a very graphic picture of what happened. Hmm. That the Fulani S men, they were there for three hours, over three hours, and no response from the police or army. You can imagine. That is why I like this release. Impossible. The Christian Association of Nigeria should invite the Israelis to come and train the Christians in Nigeria to defend themselves. Because it's obvious that the government does not want to protect the Christians in this country. Well, so the Israelis should come and train the Christians on how to defend themselves against this Fulani Earth men. Because enough is enough. You can just imagine killing human beings as if they are, they are shikis. Even shikis said that they couldn't kill shikis for Christmas like that. And it, it happened last year, and it's happening again. I want to call on the Christian leaders to harm themselves now, because it's not an open war. To harm themselves and protect themselves against the Fulani men. We will we, 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 we not subscribe to that, please. Uh, like I said, we will not subscribe to uh, self-help and uh, reprisal attacks or more killings. Uh, but just like you stated earlier, uh, the government needs to do more as it concerns uh, dealing with these issues. So at least many Nigerians will believe that, yes, we do have a responsive government uh, that will be better protect the lives and properties of Nigerians. I do know uh, the annoyance that seems to be greeting that very massacre that played out on, uh, on Christmas Day, the uh, day before yesterday. Uh, but please, let's just keep a cool head. I uh, pray that things change and also see how we can truly help out in every little way we can. But anyway, that's the much we can take on, on, on the paper review. Uh, Mr. Godwin Ujiba, thank you so much for taking your time and uh, doing this with us. We truly appreciate that. And that was more excitement to follow, especially as you walk into uh, the new year itself, 2024. Uh, just quickly before we go, what's your belief in 2024? The economy and quickly, um, what do you see ahead? Uh, for Nigerians. <coughs> okay. I am not a prophet, but I do know that from the uh, what has been put on ground, mm. chances are that things will improve. Okay. Now, the economy will try to better because we have come, come through now with this issue of Naira scarcity. Okay. So by the time we go into the new year, more Naira will be available. We are told that the petroleum, mm, the refinery in yeah, the Kota yeah, there I'm are modular ones in the two states that are coming in. Uh, petrol will be available more again, and once petrol is available, price of all other things will stabilize. stabilize. And if that is done, it will trigger off what you call multiplier effect. Mm. Employment will be generated, then when there is employment, there will be peace, mm. there will be happiness. And so we will leave all of this play to matter, and they will begin to be happy again. Well, anyway. The government does it bite. On that happy note, we need to really go. Thank you so much. And we we'll really want to thank everybody that was a part of it. Those are the crew members and also you that uh, stayed around uh, to make those calls and also listen to us on Quest today.